first things first, your setup. As you guys can see, I'm pinning the fabric vertical and I made sure you guys saw how my room is set up. I'm using push pins, but I would recommend you using command strip hooks because you don't want tiny holes in your walls, especially if you're living in an apartment. It's important for you to have a really good camera when you're photographing yourself. If you aren't begging with big bucks for a professional camera like me, using your phone with some good lighting can assist you. The phone that I use is the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, and before that I was using the Galaxy Note 4. After playing with the settings a bit, this takes what I think some great photos. You will also want to change the position of your phone. This can help keep your photo balanced. Lighting is the second most important thing when it comes to photographing yourself. What I am now using are three soft boxes on each side of me and one in front of me, assisted with a ring light. I have ordered more lighting since my lighting video, and having soft boxes farther away allows for the shadows to hit at the right angle so my pictures aren't lighted too much. I have both soft boxes pointing at an angle downward onto me. Now when it comes to backdrops, I have finessed what is called the optical illusion. I use blizzard fleece for my backdrop and it can be purchased at Joann's Fabrics. I have a blue one, a yellow one, and a pink one. The yellow one was about $27, it is 5 feet long. But I found out once I was in front of it, I didn't need as much space as I thought. My goal for a backdrop was to be able to film horizontally and take pictures vertically and fleece was the only fabric wide enough. I would recommend four feet. This will give you enough fabric to work with or you can use Universal Savage backdrops, which are a little bit more expensive. I seriously believe angles are a must when it comes to taking a picture. Finding out how the light hits your face the way you like it, but I unfortunately need to have a mirror to know I look good. If I can't see my face, I don't know how to pose. So most of my pictures won't be environmental or outside until I get some confidence on how to work angles without a mirror. Here's behind the scenes. I thought I should show you guys what it looks like when it's actually happening. As you guys can see, the soft boxes are looking down onto me. There's a mirror there to help me see how I'm posing. I have a mirror behind the ring light to make sure my phone is in focus. It's definitely a lot of running back and forth and putting things on a timer. Okay, so now on to editing. So I took a couple of pictures um, through with the different backdrops and now I'm gonna show you guys how I edit the pictures. So I just go through the pictures that I want and see which ones work for me and I go ahead and I delete most of them. I take at least about 100 pictures just to get a couple. And I'm doing the same thing with the blue drop. I'm just trying to figure out which um, picture is flattering and as you guys can see I can take some very unflattering pictures. So once I got the picture that I am going to be editing, I go ahead and I press edit and I go ahead and I crop um, the white edges out. So that way, all you see is the yellow backdrop like so. Then I'm gonna go ahead and share it to this app called PixArt. Then I go to the um, effects and I go to blur, either smart blur or just regular blur. I click the little eraser button and then I click the little two arrows on the side and I use the little paintbrush to paint the blur in. I hope that makes sense. Then I either try to change the temperatures of the vid, of, not the video, but the picture to see if I need a little bit more warmth, need to add a little bit more shadows, a little bit more highlights. So you're basically going to see me do the same thing. You're going to see me go to blur, go to the effects, and now I'm going to some different effects. Um, 
this is just basically showing you guys a little bit about the app this is not sponsored or anything I've been using this app for years but um, yeah it really does have some cool effects and um, yeah I'm just showing you guys how I basically edit my pictures and how I you know figure out which ones work for me and which ones are more flattering you can even go into the filters themselves and you can also um, change the amount of the filter that is shown and so on and so forth these are basically how the photos came out you guys So I really, really hope that you all liked this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did like it, make sure you do give it a thumbs up. That really does help me out a lot. If you have not entered my giveaway, make sure you go ahead and you enter that giveaway and follow all the rules. Thank you all so much. I love you very much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.